Okay, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to multiply three digit numbers and four digit numbers times a one digit number. So you're watching this video because you've already learned how or you remember how to multiply two digit times one digit. You're going to use the same strategies for three digit times one and four digit times one. All you're going to be doing is just repeating it a couple of more times. So we're going to work some problems out together. I'm going to show you more than one way to do it, and you can choose whatever way makes more sense to you. So we're going to start with 678 times 5. It is so important that you line your numbers up carefully, because if your numbers get messed up, then your answer could end up being wrong, even if you did the right steps. So line your numbers up carefully. And we're going to start by multiplying the digits in our ones place together. So we're going to do 8 times 5 first. And 8 times 5 is 40. So our ones place comes down and our tens place gets carried up. Just like we do with 2 digit times 1. And I'm going to put that plus sign to help me remember that I'm adding it. Okay, that's the first step. The second step is to do our number in the tens place times the digit on the bottom. So 70 times 5 or 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is 35 and then we need to add 4, the 4 that we carried. 35 plus 4 is 39. So our 9 comes down and we're going to carry our 3. And I'm going to put that plus sign. Okay, then we're just going to repeat those steps with the hundreds place. So we're going to multiply the digit in our hundreds place times our bottom number. So 6 times 5. I didn't notice I made a number that has a pattern, 876. 6 times 5 is 30. Then we need to add the 3 that we carried. So we get 33. Since I don't have any more digits up top, I can go ahead and put 33 all the way down here. Oh, I have a four digit number so I need a comma. So I have 3,390. Okay, so that's what we would call the traditional way to do it. So I'm gonna erase that. And I'm gonna show you the way that we can do it using what's called partial products. And what that means is we're gonna take our larger number and we're gonna break it apart. So we're going to break 678 apart. So we have 600, we have 70, and we have 8. And I'm going to multiply each one of those parts by 5. So 600 times 5, 7 times 5, and 8 times 5. So if you remember our patterns of 0, I can do 6 times 5 is 30. And then I need to add one, two zeros. So I get 3,000. 70 times 5, I'm going to do 7 times 5, which is 35. And now I need to add one zero. And then 8 times 5 equals 40. Now I'm going to add those three numbers up. So 0, 5 times 4 is 9, plus 3, and 3. 3,390. So you can work these out either way. We're going to do some more examples. Um, it's just completely up to you with whatever way you feel more comfortable with. Okay, this one is a four-digit number. 4,938 times four. So I'm going to show you what we would call the more traditional way first. So we're going to start with our ones place, and we're going to do eight times four. Eight times four equals 32. So our 2 comes down here. We're going to carry our 3. Next we're going to do 3 times 4, which is 12, plus our 3, which is 15. So the 5 goes down, and we're going to carry our 1. Now we're moving our way to the left. We're just going to keep repeating our steps. So we're going to do 9 times 4 which is 36 plus 1 is 37. So our 7 comes down here, carry our 3, and we have to repeat again. So now we have 4 
times 4, which is 16, plus the 3 that we carried, which makes 19. And put our comma. So 19,752. Okay, so let's look at the way we can solve it using the partial products. Okay, so again, we're going to break apart our larger number. So 4,938. And we're going to multiply each part by 4. Okay, so I know my rules of zero. I can do four times four, which is 16. And then I need to add my three zeros. You would want to leave more room so your numbers don't get as squished as mine are right now. And then I'm going to do nine times four, which is 36, plus my two zeros. And then three times four, which is 12, plus my one zero. And then last is 8 times 4, which is 32. And I'm going to add those numbers up. 0, 0, 0, 2. Then I have 2 and 3, which gives me 5. 6 and 1 is 7. 6 and 3 is 9. And the 1. So 19,752. Okay, so just decide which, um, which way you like the most and do whatever method is more comfortable for you.